Yes, anyone wants to try, guys? Or that's it? Two minutes, sir. Okay. That's it. Anyone wants to try? Okay. Storage will be always online. Huh? Note to CIP. SQL agent storage resources role server name. First storage will go down. Later instance and agent services server name. Storage type SQL server agent. And you gave Sampat, you gave one list. What is that? They will come online or they will go offline? I'll go offline, sir. Agent will go offline That's first, then engine will go, then all shared drives, then cluster network name, cluster network IP address. Okay. Yes. Have you Googled it or have you checked any old videos? Uh, I mean, uh, previously I checked in the videos, sir. Okay. Done. That's okay. Your answer is not eligible. That's correct, okay, but your answer is not eligible. Your answer is correct, okay. SQL server agent, SQL server, then SQL server agent, then storage, Malaysia Rao. Agent server network physical log, okay. Other resources, okay. Okay, guys. Okay, so to uh, to avoid the confusion, so let's go to this. Let's go to the server. Go to dependency report, guys. I'll show you first. You will get clear understanding, okay? Which resource will go down first? Which resource will go online? Okay, so you you will get a clear idea, guys. Let me go to this. Uh, right click on the main, okay? Role, okay. So go to this more actions. Show dependency report. So which resource is depending on which resource? You can see with the diagram, okay? You will get an Internet Explorer. In that Internet Explorer, you can see with the diagrams. You can see, guys. Let's maximize this window. Ask me later. Maximize this window, guys. If you go down, you can see the diagram. Okay. So listen carefully. As per this diagram, you can you can okay track it easily. So while 
going offline this is the way guys this is the way this is how the resources will go offline while coming online reverse order okay while coming online reverse order this is the way okay guys so first node 1 from node 1 first your agent service your agent service and generic cip sql service is there right these two resources will go offline first then your sql server database engine will go offline first and your sql server database engine will depends on all these three guys under condition if you see here under condition okay it will depends on your network name it will depends on your shared drives also means if sql server wants to be up and running these three should be online first okay guys this is under condition if sql server has to be up and running of course your data files and log files are there in the shared drives right without these drives not coming online how come sql server can can come online your master database model database all the system database data files and log files are stored inside this drives if the drives are not coming online how can your sql server can come online okay and of course it is going to depends on your network name also if these three resources are online then only your sql server will be online okay guys so your sql server will go offline first then all these three components will go offline then finally your ip address cluster ip address your sql cluster ip address will go offline while coming online tell me the order guys first ip address IP first address. ip address will come online then all these three components all will this. come online yeah. once these three are online then only your sql server will be online then only your particular agent and your cip sql service will be online guys is it clear your sql server depend this is called dependency your sql server depends on network name and cluster drives your network name depends on net, network ip address so without network ip address network name can't come online if network name can't come online your sql server will be down guys if you want proof go to your failover cluster manager let me bring this resource offline okay see i'll bring this resource offline agent service nothing will happen guys only agent will be down that's it only agent will be down like this you can see online offline right click you can bring it online right click you can take it offline okay only the, nothing is impacted your sql server is up and running your ip addresses cluster name everything is up and running chalo this time let's bring the ip address offline guys okay if this is offline see how many resources will be offline guys see here if this is offline your sql server and agent is offline guys why because if you see here drives are online only no issues with the drives if you see here if this is offline network name will go offline if network name is offline your sql server will be down if your sql server is down your agent will be down guys your agent and cip service will be down right if you see here means except these two drives everything will be down is it clear guys is it clear yes sir. okay yes. if you go to the failover cluster manager again see here i just uh, bring offline i just bring offline of this particular ip address once this ip address is down this network name uh, this cluster network name becomes down offline once this is offline this sql server is down once this is down your agent is down then your cp cip service is down just in case if i want to bring this online which resource i have to bring the online first guys ip address if i am trying to bring agent online let's see it will come see first it will come online guys even though i am trying to bring online first ip address is coming online and network name is coming online once these two are online then your sql server will come online then your agent will come online then finally your sql server cip service will come online guys okay so this is called dependency each components will depends on multiple okay resources guys mostly your network name network ip address and shared storages are main components okay if these are down your sql server will be down guys okay until all the components are up and running the status will be pending once all the components are online the status will be up and running guys now if you see the owner node is node 1 means all your drives and all will be there at node 1 okay if you see here see here in the e drive i just created this folder right in the ms sql it just created lot of things data folder continue you can see all your data files okay master model msdb what about tempdb guys where is tempdb created so we kept in another, another folder okay so folder. same like this tempdb this is tempdb data file what about log file guys log separate in the l drive log. we have created okay l drive here 
एम एस एस के लॉग ओके कंटिन्यू I don't see any log files. Why? Because this log drive, log folder will be used for user databases log files. If I create a user database now, I can I can see a user database data file in one drive, user database log file in another drive. Okay. Temp DB, of course, temp log is created, right? So this is how it will work, guys. Let me connect to the failover cluster instance, guys. This is my standalone instance. So let let's connect to the cluster instance. Browse for more, and database engine. See here. B forty two SQL cluster. This is network name, and this is your instance name. Click OK, guys. You cannot give computer name, guys. While connecting to the SQL cluster, you cannot give computer name. You have to give SQL cluster network name, and you have to give instance name, guys. So this is how you can. Now this instance is running from node one. If something happened to this instance, the same instance will be up and running from node two, guys. Okay. Can I connect to this instance from node two? Tell me, guys. Can no, I sir. connect to this no, instance from Node two? The the server is off. Fine, SQL server. Okay. Oh, kakar kai, kakar kai, kakar kai. Tell me, guys. Can I connect to the instance from Node two? Yes or no? Tell me, guys. Yes, yes or sir. no? Yes. 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 Guys, from node one or node two, you are going to connect to the instance only, right? Who who said no? Sir, Panendra, sir. Panendra, I'm sorry, Panendra. I'll deduct uh, two points from you. Okay. See. If you are connecting from node two or node one, at the end of the day, you are connecting to the cluster instance only. Okay, from which instance it is up and running, your connection will be created from that particular instance only. It's not like okay, on node two, your SQL service will be down, so I cannot connect. If you are giving this complete name, how you are going to give guys node two SQL cluster? You will give or B forty two SQL cluster, B forty two SQL cluster. Which name you are going to give while connecting? Tell me. Server name. Server name. This is my server name, right? Yes. Sir. This is not my server name, right? Note two backslash b forty two SQL class, right? This is my server name. Right? This is up and running, right? Why can't you connect from Note two? Our main goal is this should be up and running twenty four by seven, either from Node one or Node two. Why, if you give this name, why can't you connect from node two? Tell me, as it is up and running, why can't you connect? You are treating again both are two different SQL servers. No, one SQL server only. That's what I want to convey. One SQL server only that is running from either node one or node two or node three or node four or node five or how many nodes you have? That many nodes. Is it clear, guys? One node is one SQL server instance is running from a primary node. If this is If you are trying to connect like this, as this is up and running, of course you can able to connect from any of the node, guys. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear, everyone, guys. Is it clear? So, of course you can yeah. connect from any node if you are using five nodes. Why? Because our main goal. Why we have set up this kind of stuff, guys? It should be up and running. As this is up and running, you can connect from any of the node, guys. It's not like from node to my SQL server is offline. No, you cannot treat two instances now. Only one instance, either that is running from node one or node two. And what is the proof, sir? Whether it is running from node one or node two? Go to services. dot msc on node one, okay? And go to services. dot msc on node two. You can see node one it is up and running, and failover it. You can see node two it will be up and running. Go to SQL Server Services. This is your cluster instance, right? B forty two class. And you can see the status is running, and you can see the auto startup type is automatic. No, sorry, manual. Okay, right? B forty two class SQL class. Go to your note two and check it. Okay, services dot msc. Okay. 
<laughs> right what is the status guys cluster instance instance if you, cannot, if you cannot see anything means stop right if you don't believe you can see it is showing start button if it is running it will show you stop button if it is not running it will show you start button can i start it from my node to guys now no sir it will it will damage yes okay i cannot start it guys okay so if you see manual the startup type is manual guys that means this instance can be a cluster instance cluster what is the other way to find out whether the instance is cluster instance or standalone instance? Like query or some query? Of course, we have custom scripts. That is always one uh, way. Using select. Um, what is the other uh, select way? Hmm. Select a server property is clustered mm -hmm. in SQL Server. Mm -hmm. Return to zero and one. Okay. Uh, zero for. And a standalone one for a cluster installation. Okay, so a very basic way. Forget about query and all. Very basic way. One way is if service is manual, startup type is manual, you can understand that is a cluster setup. Okay, very basic way. What is the other way, guys? Go to disks. Disk. Disk. Go to disks. You can check why why are disks. Okay, if it is showing like this, okay, you can easily understand. Okay, this instance. Is the owner that is the owner of the cluster. Of course, in the node 2, you don't see these disks, right? So, guys, if you see on other <clears throat> nodes, if you see the SQL server is not running and the startup type is manual, it should be a cluster instance. The SQL server is not running and startup type is manual. 90% it should be a cluster instance, guys. Okay, and of course, by using drives also you can find it. What is the other way? You will try to open qadmin.msc. Any of the node. Try to open qadmin.msc. If you are not getting, that is not cluster node. If you are getting, that is a cluster node. Is it clear? When you will get qadmin.msc, when you install cluster components, then only cluster you will get, yes, get qadmin.msc, right? Otherwise, you don't get it. If you are getting means, that is a cluster instance. And another way is, go to your instance properties, okay? And here, you can see one option, is clustered, true, okay? So... In this way, you can find out whether the instance is cluster instance or not. Is clustered, okay? True, guys. It is showing true means that is a cluster <sighs> instance. Okay, guys. Any issues? Any doubts? Is it clear? So let's do the failover quickly. You can see all the resources will go offline first and will be online first. Now, can you tell me? Now you have an idea how the resources will go online offline. Now tell me, guys. Without uh, okay. Um, checking in any of the source, I guess you guys already written somewhere, okay? Without checking those things, tell me which resource will come online, which resource will go offline first, which resource will come online first. First offline server, uh, agent server, and hmm. CAP. Okay. Next is SQL server. Okay. And next next is the storage. Uh, drives and, Drive. uh, and uh, server name. Okay. Yeah. So, and next uh, uh, IP address offline. Okay, online. Reverse IP, IP address. IP address data and SQL server CAP. And next, next uh, uh, right. That's it, guys. Good. Okay. So how to do the failure automatic? This is manual failure, guys. We are doing the failure manually. Again, go to your SQL server role, move, select node. Same, same as day we did right in the same way. To node two, okay. Double click on node two. Now see here how they are going offline. First CAP, then agent, then SQL server, then your cluster name, then your drives, then your IP address. Then again drives came online, IP address came online. Your network is coming online. Now, okay. Then your SQL server will come online. Then agent, then CAP service. Okay. Once everything is completed, the status will be changed to online. From pending to online, you can see. Pending means. Uh, failover failover is happening so then you can see pending once failover is completed that means okay you can see online guys right now you can see online okay i still i'm able to connect to my instance it's running from node 2 actually it's not running from node 1 okay so go to services.msc this time okay now you can see right still sql server is showing running right 
just refresh it guys okay it is showing running right refresh it now you can see here where is that uh, now you can see this is my node one and the service is stopped okay now go to node two guys this is not showing right this was not updated again right click refresh now you can see this is running okay guys but still i am able to connect from my node one still i am able to connect from my node one okay refresh it you can see if i create one database as of now no databases are there right let me create one database new database you can see data file will be stored in the e drive log file will be stored in the l drive guys okay if you see here see here e path l path okay uh, class clue db clue database demo okay click okay then okay so now you can see in the e drive refresh it guys sometimes you can see like this see here your quorum is there with you but your drives whatever shared drives which is used for sql class instance it is up and running from node 2 why quorum is there with me guys now tell me what is the reason behind because it is a uh, windows level no sir correct very good see guys your windows cluster host server is node 1 only only your role is moved to node 2 guys got the point from which is the uh, what is the host server your quorum will be there at particular host server only see here current host server for windows cluster is node 1 so what is your host server your quorum will be there at host server you just simply moved one role to another row another node that's it so don't think your whole cluster will move to the node 2 no only the application related okay uh, stuff is going to move to the node 2 guys but your cluster is name your cluster host windows cluster is running with node 1 only as windows cluster owner will be node 1 your quorum will be there at node 1 is it clear guys and if you go to disk disks you can see both drives went to node 2 and quorum drive is running from node 1 why because quorum is the witness for your host server windows cluster setup okay quorum windows cluster is a cluster part windows cluster part this is your sql cluster part guys is it clear anything any doubts are there guys let me know please <coughs> sir sorry sir yesterday no uh, server changed sir server uh, that host server name no uh, yesterday it was changed again today morning i just started uh, node 1 first so which is first it is running so it will come back to its node 1 primary node Sir, please explain what is that that case and this case. Sir? What is that case? This case, tell me, sir. No, you only tell me. Yesterday, manually, I did the failover to node two. Agree? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So now, what happened yesterday while closing the machines? I just stopped my machines. Node two, I stopped. Then all the resources yes, will come to node one, right? Yes, sir. Automatic failover, right? What is there? See, complete two two days, two days of. not two days i guess three days of clustering is over now you are asking the very basic question guys <laughs> will be back in two minutes ha huh? just two minutes आधा घंटा लगेगा आधा घंटा
Thank you. 